My father was a director and managing director, licensee for the Blackwood Hall Company. He started there when he was 10 years old. He left school at 10, St John's in Blackpool, and he became a lift boy in the Empress Buildings, which served all the offices. So he had a little round hat and a navy blue uniform with bits of braid on it. And uh, from being a lift boy and welcoming people in and showing them to where they should be going, he, he became an office boy, which was, a, you know, quite a, a big jump in those days for a little lad. Yeah, well, when you think that his, his family, going back to the 1840s, came over with the famine in Ireland, I think that was the basis of it, that they were determined to get on, because they had nothing in Ireland, you know, nothing. It was beautifully kept. There were so many people in Blackpool that worked for the tar company, uh, usherettes, maintenance people, it was a big employer of Blackpool people. All the public buildings were beautiful. They were beautifully kept, beautiful flower arrangements. Everything was absolutely spotless. And everybody had a place and everybody knew their place. Well, I think a lot of people came from inland towns and it was a bit awe-inspiring. If you go into one of the ballrooms and you see all this beautiful gold decoration and beautiful floor, dance floor, and the well, it's, uh, you know, it, it made you behave. Yes, it'll always have a place, but I went up on Mother's Day up to the top of the tower and things have changed a lot. I mean, you've got the glass floor, which uh, is quite spectacular if you look down and glass around the the sides, which is very nice because you don't get cold and wind blown. So things change, but it's still got a place there.